assalamu alaikum hello students today we have to solve problem number 2.4 of electrodynamics fourth edition by david j griffiths in this problem we have been asked to find electric field at some point p at a vertical distance z from the center of a, of a circular loop carrying uniform charge density lambda to find our required electric field at this point we will divide our circular loop into small charge elements then we will find electric field at this point due to one of those elements and then we will integrate that electric field across this complete loop and definitely that integration will provide us the net electric field due to this complete loop at this point p okay now let's see what is our charge element let me draw that charge element here so this is our charge element this is our charge element and the length of this charge element is taken as dx and the charge the amount of the charge carried by this element is named as dq now what is electric field at this point p due to this element due to this charge element that electric field will definitely be named as de and that electric field will be like in this direction in this direction and named as de so the electric field due to this element will be in this direction if if the positive charge has been distributed on this circular uh, on this circular loop okay so here we have considered that positive charge has been distributed that's why the electric field will be in this direction okay now that electric field will definitely be the electric field due to a point charge because this charge will be this charge element will be taken as point charge okay it will behave like a point charge so according to the formula of electric field of a point charge this electric field will be equal to k dq divided by r square k dq divided by r square now what is r here in this case this r is the distance of this point p from this charge element and that distance is named as r while the radius of this circular loop is named as capital r okay now in the next step in the next step we will discuss only the y component of electric field dey and that will be equal to k dq divided by r square into cos of theta if theta is taken if this angle is taken as theta then definitely our y component will be y component means vertical component then our vertical component will be written with cos theta okay but the question arises here that uh, why we are considering here only y component why not x why not x component let me make you understand the reason is actually we have another element we have another charge element here directly exactly opposite to exactly opposite to this one okay now now this charge element is uh, also this charge element also has length dx and it carries the same amount of the charge dq and the electric field at this point p due to this element will be like in this direction okay now it's pretty clear that if we resolve both of these two components uh, uh, if we re if we resolve both of these two vectors into their components then their uh, x component the x component of this vector will be in this direction while the x component of this vector will be in this direction now both of these x components are opposite to one another and equal in magnitude so will cancel out one and other while the y components the y component of this vector will be like in this direction named as dey and y component of other vector the, the the y component the vertical component of this vector will be taken in this direction now it's clear that both the y components are upwards means in the same direction 
that's why the net electric field at this point p will be only due to y components so we are considering here only the y components of electric field all the x components of all the charge elements will cancel one another okay now the y component of that electric field can be simplified further as k and lambda can, uh, this dq this dq can be written as lambda dx okay uh, r square will be written here as it is and cos theta by using this right triangle by using any of these two right triangles the cos theta will be equal to z over r and in the next step it becomes what k lambda z dx divided by r cube and by using pythagoras theorem by using pythagoras theorem this r will be equal to this r will be equal to z square plus r square inside the square root so it becomes z square plus r square inside the square root means whole power 1 by 2 and by combining that whole power 1 by 2 uh, uh, with this 3 it becomes whole power 3 by 2 so this is the y component of electric field of one of these charge elements okay but we want to find the electric field at this point p due to this complete loop so we will integrate our loop uh, so sorry we will integrate this electric field across our complete loop now if we integrate the y component of this complete loop will be equal to will be equal to what k lambda z dx divided by z square plus r square whole power 3 by 2 now uh, and uh, what will be the limits of integration definitely the limits of integration will be sorry 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 i made a mistake here this term will not be written inside the uh, inside the integral why because z and r both of them are constant terms both of them are constant terms r is the radius of this loop that is constant and z is a fixed distance that have been defined already um, in the statement of of our problem okay so z and r both both are the constant terms so the that expression cannot be written in the integral so it is z square plus r square z square plus r square whole power 3 by 2 whole power 3 by 2 and that integral is here dx and what will be the limits of integration definitely the size of our discharge element the minimum size of discharge element can be can be zero and uh, what can be the maximum size the maximum size can be the complete loop that is 2 pi r so upper limit will be 2 pi r upper limit will be 2 pi r 2 pi r now let me integrate it it becomes k lambda z divided by z square plus r square whole power 3 by 2 whole power 3 by 2 and uh, the integration is x upper limit is 2 pi r and lower limit is 0 now if i apply these limits of integration it becomes it becomes like 2 pi r it becomes 2 pi r now in the next step if i multiply this lambda with the length of my loop it give it gives me the complete charge okay because this lambda the charge density lambda is actually like look here the charge density lambda is charge contained by that loop divided by length of that loop so if i multiply this 2 pi r with charge density i get the complete charge of the loop that is named as q 
so if i multiply this lambda by 2 pi r it it provides me the complete charge that is q so it becomes k q z divided by z square plus r square whole power 3 by 2 and this is and this is the complete electric field the complete electric field at this point p due to this uh, circular loop okay now if i discuss a special case here the special case that uh, if uh, my point p gets very very far away from this circular loop then definitely in that case that distance z will be much greater than the radius of the loop okay so in that special case if z becomes very very larger than r then in that case definitely this z square plus r square z square plus r square will approximately be equal to z square that will be approxi approximately equal to z square okay will be equal to z square so if i put here it becomes k q z and it becomes z square whole power 3 by 2 and after after a ve very little simplification it gives k q divided by z square now what does this expression tells us actually this is the expression of the electric field due to a point charge so this ex this expression tells us that if our point p gets very very far away from that circular loop then in that case that circle that circular loop will behave like a point charge okay hope it's clear in the next video we will discuss problem number 2.6 goodbye